OneDrive is a cloud-based service designed for storing files, and it enables you to synchronize data and, optionally, your device settings. It provides each user with 5 gigabytes of free space. You have to use a Microsoft account to access your OneDrive. It requires that you install an app on your device, although Windows 10 does provide a built-in desktop app. It creates a local folder in Windows 10, which defaults to cKernel slash users slash whatever your username is slash OneDrive. It provides Microsoft Office Online. These are features that enable you to work with Office documents through a web browser. By using the OneDrive web portal, users can manage their OneDrive files. They can access previous versions of their OneDrive files. They can recover files using the OneDrive recycle bin. They can choose to buy more storage if 5 gigabytes is not enough. They can enable and configure sharing for their OneDrive files. And they can participate in Microsoft Excel surveys and create surveys. To manage OneDrive with a desktop app, right-click the cloud icon in your system tray and click Settings. From there you can specify which content will be synchronised up to OneDrive and what are the defaults. As you can see here, desktop documents and pictures are stored on this PC only, but I could configure those to be OneDrive or to be both. Photos and videos and screenshots can automatically be synced up to OneDrive as well to allow me to access them on, on others of my devices. You can manage OneDrive with a web app. Just navigate to OneDrive by using again the cloud icon um, in the system tray, right click and choose view my files online and you can access your, the OneDrive portal here. On the left hand side you can look at files, recent files, photos, any shared folders, the recycle bin and any of your devices. You can upload new content and you can share folders from this portal here. To share files with OneDrive, by default three are created in the OneDrive account, documents, pictures and public. And to share a folder, select it in the web portal and then on the toolbar, click share. You can see here that you can share a folder and specify a particular link which you can share with users and anyone with the link can edit the item or you can send a, an email invitation to access the shared folder and your OneDrive. If you accidentally delete a file in OneDrive, not to worry, you can easily recover it from the recycle bin. You can use group policy object settings to restrict access to OneDrive. Open the group policy editor, navigate to computer configuration, policies, administrative templates, Windows components and OneDrive, and then enable the prevent the usage of OneDrive for file storage setting. 